Hello Cancers, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your April weekly reading. It is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and they are on sale right now. You can receive a recorded video reading, three questions for $20, or an hour long Zoom reading for $50. And everything that you'll need to know about scheduling is in the description box below for you. We are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and help with this reading today. All right, Cancer, so let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. We're gonna pull some general overall messages or themes and then we're gonna get into your tarot. I wish I could take back my words alone and driving me crazy we, have, we are not good for each other at the bottom of the deck and then expect a miracle an effort I feel like somebody's having a lot of regrets. I do feel like this is somebody that you guys are in separation with. And I do feel like somebody's having a lot of regrets. Maybe both of you are. But I think somebody's really looking back at the situation and kind of seeing where you guys are I would say like incompatible or like you're not on the same page or something like that here. But at the same time, what's driving them crazy is that they still want this. Even though they recognize that maybe you know, maybe you guys want to have different lifestyles, right? Or maybe you guys want different things or there's something about it that just isn't, doesn't work, right? Um, they still can't help it. They can't stop thinking about it. They still want it. And I feel like they thought that they were better off alone or they thought that they wanted to be alone. Um, but I feel like they're, they're seeing that that maybe isn't the case. Let's expect a miracle and effort. We're going to see how that plays into it. We do have stringing you along here. I feel like they didn't, they don't want to string you along. Okay, and I feel like that is maybe, especially if you haven't heard from this person, um, you know, maybe that's why. It's because they want to be sure. You know, I don't feel like this person isn't trying to play games with you here, Cancer. But let's take a look. We're going to look at their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions moving forward. We're going to look at the challenge that lies between the two of you as well, the potential outcome, and then we're going to look at your energy towards the situation. And finally, we're going to get some advice for you. All right. Yeah, especially if this person has been distant or there's been no communication, if they haven't reached out or something. I feel like it's because they are trying to make it they are trying to make a decision here. They don't want to string you along. They don't want to play games. They don't want to be in and out. I feel like this person wants to be sure, right? They have the judgment card here. The challenge between the two of you guys got the seven of pentacles. So somebody could be very much in their head. I feel like somebody's overthinking, overanalyzing things, trying to figure out what they want. Like I said, I feel like there's something like the words like uh, incompatible or like differences like maybe you guys have different lifestyles or want different things and there's something like where you guys just aren't quite on the same page or in some way you're just maybe not the best for each other and I feel like this person is kind of reflecting on that but at the same time they can't help it they still they still want this right so I feel like they're trying to really take a look and analyze the situation I feel like you're both very much in your head about it to be honest with you Got the page of wands here for their next action. So I like that. To me, I do feel like that could be communication. We'll have to take a deeper look at it, but it's a taking a step in a direction. And the six of wands, victory for the outcome. So I like that. Seven of cups here for the overall energy. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion. Trying to figure out what the best option is. Feeling a little bit overwhelmed as well. So they have the ten of wands here in their in the area of their thoughts. So they have a lot on them at this time. I feel like they could also be trying to focus on other things. 
And I feel like you guys could have been through a lot with this person. That's not lost on them. I feel like they're thinking about that too. They're thinking about the work that you guys are going to have to do or what's going to have to happen in order for you guys to make this work or to make this successful. You know, can we even do it? The nine of pentacles in the reverse in the heart space. You know, for some of you guys, this person could be somebody who is, is non-committal or somebody who just has a hard, I don't mean that in like a player way, but just somebody has a hard time settling down. This could be somebody who is, you know, very much needs a lot, needs their freedom, okay? The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, you know, that's in their heart space. So I feel like there's a part of them that does want, you know, that doesn't want to be alone. I don't think it's a coincidence that it's coming out under this alone card. You know, there's a part of them that does want to be with you, but they don't also want to have to either like deal with whatever these obstacles are between the two of you or, you know, give up what they feel like is their freedom or a part of them. They could also feel like it's going to be very draining. Sometimes the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse can be an energy of, you know, something just being very draining, taking a lot from you. They could feel like it's going to be too much work, you know, or that there's too many obstacles or you guys have been through too much. It's that kind of an energy. I feel like they are trying to make a decision here before they communicate. They don't want to make the wrong decision. They don't want to string you along. I feel like this person really does genuinely care about you um, on a deep level. The Seven of Pentacles very much in their head over analyzing. That's a challenge between the two of you. I feel like you both do this here. But let's clarify this. Um, there we go. Let's clarify this Page of Wands. What is this Page of Wands here for? Why is the Page of Wands here? Page of Swords. So they are trying to figure something out right now. Um, they could even be trying to get advice from other people as well. They could be talking to friends. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Because they don't want to waste your time. They don't want to waste theirs. They want to make sure that this is a this is what they want to do. This is what they want to invest their energy into. I do feel like you are going to be hearing from this person. I feel like they finally figure some things out here. Then we have the Six of Wands with the Temperance. I feel like it's you know all in divine timing. I know we hate to we hate that right. You know it's not a fun energy. It does require patience. But I feel like somebody's going to be able to come back in and make peace with you here. You guys are going to be able to try. You know the thing I really like about this is. The temperance is also a card of compromise. So especially if you guys have been at odds with each other or like have different lifestyles or there's something about it where you're not on the same page, you know, I feel like you guys are going to be victorious in um, finding a compromise, finding a balance. I really like that energy for you here. So we're going to take a look at where you are in this. So this person, I do feel like they have regrets. They don't want to string you along. They want to be sure. They're trying to figure things out, and I feel like they are. I feel like they are going to be communicating in the near future, and I feel like you guys are going to be able to find a solution to this. I feel like you guys are going to be able to find a, some kind of compromise or a way to work together. You got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Lovers in the reverse. You could feel like you've lost everything. I feel like this is somebody that you thought you were going to spend your life with. Um... So you, you could be really going through it, too, at this time, Cancer. You could feel like you've lost a lot here. Um, the lovers in the universe is a disconnect. You guys are not on the same page. And I feel like you're hoping that things turn around. You got the hangman in the reverse. I feel like you've been trying to release this. You don't want to keep yourself stuck. You've been doing your best to move forward. But I feel like this has affected your confidence. And yeah, you got the three of swords here as well. You, you've been hurting, but I feel like you've been trying your best. Um, especially because I feel like some of you guys have been out of communication. And maybe you're not even sure that all of this stuff is going on with this person. You just see that they're not communicating with you. So you're trying your best to release it and move on um, so that you're not staying stuck. But it's hard. Because you feel like you've lost it all. It's not just this person. It's like the whole dream and vision. Um, but I'm proud of you guys for continuing to put your foot forward and move forward one step at a time. It does look like you guys are heading in a direction towards finding some kind of solution and compromise to whatever your guys' issues are here. Um, so I do like to see that. But in the meantime, I think that you're doing everything that you can um, you know, to keep yourself moving forward. And I think that's a really beautiful thing. So Cancers, we are going to be taking a look at what advice spirit has for you something that they want you to think on, reflect on, um, make adjustments to. Let's just see what they got for you. It says, doing the same thing over again and expecting a different result. Insanity. 
So where are you doing that in your life? Where are you, um, you know, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result? What's coming to mind is sometimes, um, especially if we're having a hard time moving on from somebody or we're having a hard time pulling ourselves out of a heavier energy, you know, we can catch ourselves, you know, you know, I'm a water sign too, so I definitely know how it goes to get lost in the fields, you know, listening to the playlist and looking at all the pictures and um, so it's like if where are we doing things like that that are kind of pull us down and we know that it's going to pull us down but we keep doing those things right or where are you doing something and you know you know you need to make a change okay so that's just something spirit wants you to take a look at and reflect upon um, but that is what I have for you cancer if it resonates let me know if it doesn't then you can also let me know, but check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, or the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. Um, but if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and for supporting me and I will see you soon.